Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. This is War Boss Tay's Project Dwarves, day 26, and uh, it is Saturday, November 26th, and today we're going to take a look at a couple things that I was able to finish. The first is this unit of hand weapon and shield dwarves, and they've got all their beards, they've got all their eyeballs, all the details, like the standard here. There are 22 of them, they don't all fit onto one of these movement trays, so I'm just going to show you how they look all lined up. I did the, the ginger motifs and I like how, how these guys are modeled. I mean I got them like this, modeled with the shield very very close up under the eye, just like they're about to take a charge. Still yet though, these um, Games Workshop Dwarves, not the best looking models on the market. Um, I can find a lot of things that I don't like about them, but I don't really want to talk about them because I don't want to get depressed while I'm still <laughs> in the middle of this project. But, oh, I'm scared. But I did manage to get through them, and so I'm happy with that. I'm very pleased that I get to put these guys into my collection of the rest of my dwarf muster army muster and um, they're gonna look great ranked up and in their own little unit so uh, let me show you what else that I was able to finish today so I'm almost done with my battle standard bearer I've got most of his base colors on, and they came out pretty nicely. I'm going for a more burnished gold effect for his gold, so they don't exactly match the more rugged um, dwarf bronze red gold of the rest of the army. It's a little bit more shiny, burnished looking, um, and I still have to do the finish up the non-metallic metal gold trim for the banner, but it's coming along pretty well and I like that he's got this white mane of hair for his beard. I think it's really nice and characterful. Okay, so now let's look at the bolt thrower that I finished. So it's finished, it's completed, done. Basically it took me like uh, two, two hours maybe to get this thing done. All it was was a heavy, just liberal application of bolt gun metal to this whole machine and it's metal so it's nice and heavy and then doing uh, Ian Den Dark Sun on all of the trim that I wanted to be gold and then finally painting over that with dwarf bronze I wanted to add a little bit of the green and gold spot colors or as spot colors from the rest of my army so I did Narlock Green and Ian Den Dark Sun for the trim and then I just washed with Thraka Green and that was it. I painted Caridon Granite for the rope. And very, very simple, very economical. And the crew, can I just say, the crew are, they were such a joy to paint after all of the similar looking plastic, even fine cast, that guy, to have such individual, characterful models that look so, so good. Um, was just a real joy to paint. So let's take a look at what they are. There's this guy who's cranking, cranking the boat door back here. So I'm probably gonna just leave him off so that I can transport them separately. But I mean, look at his face. He's got that look of grim determination. Mm, I painted his eyeball pupils to be like he's looking down into the left. Sorry, let's see if we can get good focus. There we go. really happy with him and you'll see for all of these models for the crew I tried to use the red and the green and the blue as a dominant color with red and green as the spot colors but blue as a dominant color because 
all of these models that deal with artillery or projectiles like the Thunderers or the Quarrelers have blue somewhere on their bodies. So here's the guy who's holding the bolt. Giant bolt that's gonna be loaded up next. So he's got blue sleeves underneath his chainmail shirt with a uh, yellow trim. He's smoking his halfling tobacco and there's a little close up on his face. Oh. I gave him a red apron with the gold trim on it. And finally we have the engineer, who I was so stoked to see had this kind of steampunk looking flight cap. Oh, it's so awesome. I wish more models in the range had stuff like this. The leather aviator's cap with these lens on it. Anyways, I painted his apron blue with a red tunic underneath with green trim. Gave him a ginger beard. Don't know what this is he's holding in his hand, some kind of tool. And um, he's got a bolt head for one of the bolts projectiles. So I, I thought that was really awesome and fun little bit of character that I, I hadn't seen when I first looked at it. He's got his hair tied back and a nice neat little ponytail with the uh, clasp with the little bling on it. So much m nicer and better looking than, like it looks so clean and nice rather than the big poofy uh, 80s hair that the rest of the models and plastic models in the range have. So. I saw it and I was like, wow, I get to paint something completely different. And even his beard in the center is kind of cut short, but on the sides it's bundled up. I think that's really cool. His eyes are kind of big. They're very kind of anime looking or 8-bit uh, Nintendo. Super Dungeon Explorer or something. But um, I think they're okay. From tabletop you can't, can't really tell. So really happy with these models and um, let's get them into the light a little bit I uh, hope you enjoyed this update it's a little bit longer than usual I kind of wanted to take the time to show what I've been doing over the past day I just spent all afternoon and evening in my free time just kind of sitting here at the computer doing it and um, hopefully tomorrow we'll get to work on the miners and get at least a base coat on them. I know I don't have much of them. I've only got whatever came in the sculpt, uh, Battle for Skull Pass, but um, hopefully while I'm doing those I can get a little bit of work done on the, the next two cannons and their crew. So, thanks for watching. This has been day number 26 of the Project Dwarfs, Project Stunties, and I've only got a couple more days left, so Let's see how much of the rest of the Dwarf Horde I can get done by then. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. And um, have a terrific day. And best of luck with all of your painting challenges. And we'll see you in the next one.